Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Melody Blue. And today I'm going to uh, attempt to color uh, this page here. Um, I think I want to use I just dropped one. Oh. I think those are the colors I want to use. Let me get the one I just dropped. I can't come in here and do anything without dropping stuff. Okay. So, I've got these four picked out for this. I don't know if I'll use all four, but we're going to go there. Okay, now, you guys, if you want to be entered in the... Uh, contest to win the pencils you have to be subscribed so don't forget to subscribe to the channel that way you'll be entered to win and I'm not caring about staying in the lines really I'm going to go with a darker color. This is, I guess, supposed to be gold. It was next to silver, so. They don't have names. They don't have numbers, but that's okay. Just getting that on there real good. Okay. I need to spritz my brush cleaner, right? That way I can clean off my brush every time. I just use no rag water. And I run my brush across the wet spot until I get all of it off. Now, my next darkest color, I believe, is going to be this. Let's see. I'm always bumping the camera. Always. I want to, like, do in here with it. Now my brush is a little damp from cleaning it, but that's okay. You just have more control over where your color goes. And like I said, don't get too upset if it gets off into another color. Okay, that's the middle part. Um... I probably will use all the colors, but for now, we're just going to go in where we want to. So here's the next darkest color. I'm going to run across that. I think I'm going to put some in there. Uh, put some there. In there. Like I said, I'm not too upset if I get out of lines. Can always be fixed later. Yeah. Or you can leave it like a wash. It doesn't really. There's that. Next is going to be my darkest color. 
and I already know where I want it. Okay, this is my darkest color. That's the three browns and the gold. I'm just going to run my brush across the tip. And I'm going to go in these little bitty spots right there. And I'm just barely touching it with the tip of the brush. that well I do want to come in here I should be using a smaller brush but we ain't gonna sweat it like I said make sure you are subscribed because the 500 subscriber mark is for subscribers, so you gotta make sure you're subscribed so I'll know uh, So I'll know who's entered and who's not All right, that's that Still cleaning on my brush Need to spray this a bit more now, what I'm doing here, or what I'm attempting to do, is I'm using gel crayons as a base. And I'm going to come in with this felt tip pen. I liked the color it came out the other day. Yeah, see there, that's nice nice this is what I'm saying about gel crayons are so forgiving if you get out of the line it's not going to matter especially if you're going to go over it with colored pencil or markers anything like that it's so forgiving that I don't know why more artists aren't using these to their potential these things right here oh my god I just don't know why people aren't doing it this is a great base for your colored pencils or your markers even like I'm doing right here I can't believe how forgiving these these things are and what all you can throw at it and it will hold so I'm using it as a base for everything I'm fixed to use I'm thinking about using some uh, markers colored pencils I just want to use everything that I think is gonna go good now I'm going to use this alcohol marker and I'm going to go in Now see how forgiving gel crayons are? I think I call them gel pens. They're gel crayons. And they are so forgiving of a medium that this, this you know what? Coloring hair with gel crayons as a base? Oh my god. Think of the time you save. Yeah, I like that. Okay. 
that's that. Now I don't know what I want to use. Uh, I've got another felt tip like somewhere. Oh, I don't know where it is. Now, what I want to do is, um, hang on a sec. Okay, I'm back. Um, I got it in my Crayolas because they happen to be open. And where I did that, see, it makes a great base for colored pencils. These are Crayolas. This is... I don't know what color that is. I can't read it. It's dark brown. So. This is a great base. For colored pencils. Very affordable. I paid $18 for 36 gel crayons. So that makes them about 50 cents a piece. And these are going to last me a while. I can already tell you. Especially using them as a base. That's really, really nice. So. I do plan to finish this picture. Uh. I just wanted to get a base layer of um, gel crayons down. Okay. I don't know what I want to do now. Uh, hang on a sec. Be right back. I'm back. I went and got to dark brown. It's sharp. Now. Okay. I'm gonna. What am I gonna do? Uh. I think I'm going to do the inside of this with this dark brown. So I hope everybody had a nice weekend. Uh, we had a hot one. It thundered for a while, but no rain. We haven't had rain in a while probably in over a month we haven't so I'm going to do this all the way around and I'll be back okay I'm back got those finished now I'm going to tell you guys right now I'm making this up as I go so I'm doing this on the fly. Uh, yeah, I am. I ain't ashamed to admit it either. Uh, now let's see. What do I want to do for the outside of that? Okay, this is a copper colored glitter gel pen. And I'm going to do these inside parts. Okay, just like that. Today we lost a legend, a Star Trek 
great. Michelle Nichols. She paved the way for African American women in TV. And she will be missed, especially among all those trickies. But she went on to do more than just Star Trek. Um, she went on to play other roles, but she was in Star Trek till, I mean, up until the last Star Trek movies, uh, that there have been. So, yeah, we, we lost a great one. Okay, I'll be right back as soon as I finish these. Okay, that's done. Uh, let's talk about Star Trek. We still have James Tiberius Kirk, or as non-Trekkies call him, William Shatner. We still have him, and that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, I, like I said, I'm making this up as I go along, just throwing everything together, because I, I do want to use these gel crayons to their potential, and I mean, they... They are great. And like I said, I don't know why a lot of the other artists on YouTube aren't using them to their full potential. Day. I mean, can you figure, think about how fast you can color hair with just a base layer of gel crayons? Water, sky, you name it. Uh... I missed the spot right here. But anyway, Captain Kirk is in his 90s. William Shatner. Now that one is going to, when he goes, that's really going to kill me. Because I love Captain Kirk. I really do. Uh, he went up in the, he went up to the edge of space in that Blue Horizon, uh, the oldest American to go up there. Uh, I guess they call it going into space because they left our atmosphere for a few seconds, whatever. He came back, he was shook. I mean, he was shook. So, I just... Oh, I don't know. We just can't lose that one right now, anyway. Okay, like I said, making this up as I go along. Uh, I don't know what color I want to these outer ones. Yeah, I think I'll use... I'll go back to this... To this gold base. That's what I think I'm going to do. Oh yeah. Looky there. Nice. And this is the gold gel crayon. Now if I wanted to, I could dampen the brush and do it faster. It doesn't matter how you do it, it's going to come out the same color, and you don't have to worry about getting it on your colored pencil. So, I don't know much to talk about. Um, that was pretty much my weekend, is... Uh, thinking of ways I can color using the gel crayons because I want to show them off. I want to give them the credit they deserve as a as an art tool. It just amazes me that people aren't using it to its potential. This could aid, well I know it aids me anyway, uh, I I have weak hands, weak arms from the MS, 
and any amount of work that I can take off of my arms and hands while coloring that's what I will do and this has come in very very handy so I guess y'all know what I feel about gel crayons. I love them and I think they should be used more often because they are they're great. You've seen everything I've done with them so and you see you don't have to be finicky about it so I'll be back as soon as I finish the round. Okay, that's round finished with the gold. Uh, now, if you over color with your gel crayon, like if you use the lighter color and you accidentally go into the darker color, it will not matter. It will not show up. Uh, And, like I said, you can use these as watercolors. Uh, just get your brush tip damp. Not dripping wet, just damp. And uh, go over uh, your gel crayon and it'll spread out just like watercolors. I think what turns a lot of people off is the word crayon. Okay, uh, it's always associated with kids, and yes, they, they market these like for kids, but there's no reason you can't use them as an adult. Uh, you can spend a lot of money on Faber-Castell Gelatos or Karen Dash Neo Color 2s. You don't need all that expensive stuff. Because these gel crayons are the same thing, made out of the same stuff. So, I'm going to leave y'all for today, uh, but I will be back to finish this. I do plan on finishing this, and I do want to showcase the gel crayons as much as possible and what all we can use with them. Uh, right now I've used gel crayons, I've used alcohol marker, I used colored pencil, glitter gel pen, and that's, that's all, what you've seen me use is all I've used so far. Oh yeah, we used a belt tip pen too. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at this for today because I know it's been short for y'all because I've been pausing it till I got done with the rounds, but... It's been a little bit for me and my leg is going to sleep so I'm going to cut it here. I will be back. We will finish this. Uh, so just remember to subscribe if you want to be in on the giveaway. Uh, I forgot to mention that. That's one of the main things. You need to be subscribed. So make sure you hit subscribe you don't have to be notified every time I put a video out but you have to be subscribed uh, having notifications on though does help uh, me identify you because I will have to ask who all wants to be entered and so on and so forth so I'm going to tell y'all I love you and I really do and everybody that's on my channel that subscribed, they know, they know I do. Everybody knows that I care. And um, I love y'all very, very much. I thank y'all for watching. I thank y'all for being subscribed. And peace out. Bye.